In this video, I want to introduce the use of the while loop, which works quite differently to the for loop. You'll see the heading of the while loop starts with the word while, and then it has a condition. In this case, the condition is sum is less than or equal to 100. That condition must be a Boolean condition that is either true or false. If that condition is true when you reach that point, the loop is done. So you go into the body of the loop and that part of the loop is executed. If that condition is false, so as soon as that condition becomes false, you go, you terminate the loop and the program goes to whatever happens after the loop. Notice what happens inside the loop. When you've reached the last statement, in this case sum is assigned to sum plus number, the program goes back to the condition and checks again whether the condition is still true or false. So that's where your loop happens. At the end of the body of the loop, it goes back to the condition and then it again determines true or false. In this problem, we see the variable sum as the loop variable. That means that's the variable that determines whether the loop continues or terminates. The first very important rule to apply when you program is to initialize the loop variable before you go into the loop. Otherwise, the condition cannot be determined. That's the first rule. The second rule is, and to be safe, is to initialize the loop variable directly in front of the while loop. Have nothing between the initialization of the loop variable and the while loop. It is also very important to notice that because the loop variable determines whether the, condition, the con loop continues, the loop variable obviously needs to change inside the body of the loop. If it never changes, the loop will go on indefinitely. Where do you change the loop variable? And once again, to be very safe, it is best to change your loop variable at the end of the body of the loop. It must be the last statement before you return to the condition to go and check whether it's still true or false. So never change your loop variable inside the body of the loop with other com uh, commands following it inside the body of the loop. Okay, so just to make sure that you know how the loop works. So in this case, we start by initializing sum as zero. The condition is true, so we go into the body of the loop. The user enters the number 34 sum becomes 34 then we go up to the condition which is still true we repeat the body of the loop the user enters 56 sum becomes 90 we go back to the condition which is still true the user enters a 3 sum becomes 93 we go back to the condition which is still true we, because it's true, we go into the body of the loop, the user enters 20, and now sum becomes 113. So when we go back to the condition, it is not true anymore. It is now false, and therefore we terminate the loop, and we go to whatever happens after the loop. Notice then, when you leave this loop, sum will have the value of 113.